Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Pisces, June 19, 2023. You can find yourself particularly dedicated to a personal project. You Euro re putting more heart and imagination into your work, pet project, or a business idea. Problem solving and creative work prosper. Still, Saturn stations and turns retrograde today, and eat a Euro s best to take it easy, consider your responsibilities, and work step by step toward your goals. Saturn will continue its retrograde until November 4th, and eat a Euro s a natural time for you to review your obligations and reconsider your personal plans. Some level of withdrawal is possible now. You Euro relearning more deeply about your spiritual goals, tying up loose ends, or finishing long-term projects that have outworn their purpose. Satin Euro S station can feel a little heavy as you sense that you Euro re switching gears this week, but in time, you will adjust to this shift, and you Euro re likely to welcome this period of review. Eta Euro S not an ideal cycle for launches of major long-term projects, but returning to complete old projects can be rewarding. You have watched as the past has been on your mind in recent months. It is likely that things may have just generally felt more constricted and challenging, especially around mental health and motivation. This is because mighty Saturn has been spinning in your solar house of privacy, seclusion, and the unconscious. However, he begins a retrograde phase today until November, giving you a slight reprieve regarding craving solitude, rest, and privacy. Use this period to connect with others and consider the karma that you and your relationships carry. This could be an excellent day to inspire new creative ventures. You may feel more curious and lighthearted than usual when Mercury in Gemini sextiles Venus in Leo. The playful sextile will ignite your desire to dive into your passion projects at work. Open up the conversation with your work friends to see what they have to say about your ideas since you could use this sextal as a planning period for your creative ventures. Meanwhile, it might be best to work on your coping mechanisms to avoid burnout at work when Saturn stations retrograde in Pisces. In the seven days since Mercury left your income sector, the moon has not only moved through but has connected with the planets here but also on the job and career fronts. With the dynamics of this professional year continuing to evolve, the stars still aligned on the job and career fronts and Jupiter just a month into a 12-month quest for income growth and expansion there is a lot to be excited about. Building the habits that foster good health is the most important thing you can focus on right now. Whatever you love to do that is good for you, biking, running, sailing, yoga, horseback riding, you name it, make it easy to get to in your life. Learn how to support yourself by putting your energy where you stand to profit. If you love yoga, get your own yoga mat and water bottle so that you are fully prepared whenever the mood strikes. While you may often find that you are more focused on the initiation of projects than finances this part of your life needs consideration, as well. This is an day and money will undoubtedly come up in one way or another. Take time to review this area today, as monetary gains will be needed for your next undertaking. Further, you need to take care of your own financial affairs to ensure security for yourself and family. Don't overlook this area as you go about your day. Today's new moon in your communication sector was always going to be an important day for all aspects of communication and especially when it comes to either new beginnings or to draw a new line in the sand. However, it is the timing that makes this significant, falling just seven days after Mercury, the planet of communication returned and just as the Sun and the asteroid Juno, the queen of commitment and especially commitment to your relationships are spending their last weekend here aligned. It is during the Moon's final hours in your communication sector and just as the Sun has reached his last weekend here that they will align to create today's new Moon. With Mercury, the planet of communication in his first weekend here but gone by the end of the month, ahead of the dwarf planet series return to your relationship sector and next week the stars have come together to give the communication lines a boost. Our eyes in the sky. The sun shares a trine with Chiron this afternoon, 
giving us a chance to reconnect with our true selves and heal our egos a bit. This aspect can also help us reconnect with our voice, so take some time to journal in the morning if you can. This can also help you consolidate your deepest desires with your personal image. You should be able to move through fears and self-doubt in favor of working toward personal goals. Identity and emotion combine to bring us strength and comfort. The fiery energy is putting us into high gear when it comes to motivation. It might be difficult to sleep as you look for ways to work toward a better future. Unfortunately, an opposition between Venus and Pluto threatens to undo some of the good ego work we accomplished earlier in the day. The reality of the effort that we need to put into our dreams might be magnified and bring self-doubt to the surface. If you find these issues coming on, take a step back and relax. If you work well into the night, you might suffer from burnout and begin to question yourself. Drink some herbal tea and get a good night of your OS rest so you can get back to work in the morning. Instead of turning our emotional radar outward, we go inward. This recalibration helps us to make breakthroughs about our character and behaviors. It can even enlighten us as to why we use pattern recognition as a mechanism for safety and security. An interest in our psychological workings will also make us curious about how others tick. Yet, where our probing might ordinarily be considered intrusive, others welcome our questions now, as they are likely conducting their own personal examinations. Following this aspect, the moon enters a void period lasting until after nightfall, suggesting we avoid starting new ventures. As many of us will be asleep at this hour, we should expect pleasant dreams. We may gain subconscious insights of spiritual or moral significance, helping us to tap into our idealistic side. The emotional highs we access should linger after we wake up, and we can take these good vibes with us as we start our day. Venus speaks to how we engage with love on the material plane, while Neptune speaks to how we access transcendent, mystical, divine love. When the two link up in a harmonious aspect, we literally feel love all around us. This aspect grants us gratitude for our circumstances and makes us want to share, connect with, and give back to those who have touched our lives in a positive way. This can also be an excellent transit for listening to music or attending concerts, museums, or films. Above all, this is a time for physical relaxation and mental and emotional thankfulness. Any interpersonal struggles that you Euro VE try to cover up float to the surface now, and you Euro LL have a hard time ignoring them under this self-reflective retro motion.